God, you can move it around. What's going on, everybody? Kwaku here, back with another sudden video. I was in the middle of editing actually what video was supposed to go up uh, essentially when you watch this today, uh, which is Tuesday. And um, I stumbled on an app and I really, really want to get this one out. So this one is called Lively Wallpaper. I'm sure some of you already know what it is. But for those of you who do not know what it is, Lively Wallpaper essentially allows you to have live wallpaper on your desktop, your Windows 10 PC desktop. Now, what's amazing and mind blowing about this? Because some other platforms have had this for a while, especially Android. I think iOS had a variation of this. Um, but this one allows you a lot of the wallpapers that people make, allows you to actually interact with them. So like this is called Medusa. And basically I'm just clicking and dragging and I can see the jellyfish and all that stuff. I can only uh, click and drag and move it around and I can interact with it, which is mind blowing to me in terms of how it works. Um, another thing you can do is it does support super ultra wide and ultra wide formats. I'm not gonna show you guys that just because you guys would have to squint for my super ultra wide screen, but some other things that it also allows. In fact, let me, let me mute my sound just for this uh, purpose coming up soon. Another thing that allows is some different types of wallpapers that people have made. This one, it says uh, soft body jellyfish simulation, which is Medusa, which is that. You see that as I drag it around, it is moving around. It doesn't matter if I'm clicking the desktop or if I'm just doing that, it's still moving around. So you can see that. Um, another thing that I have here is, let's say fluids. This one is called fluids version two. It says fluid simulation using WebGL reacts with system audio and cursor. So if I click fluids version two and I just push this thing down, just wait a second for it to load in, you'll see what is amazing to me. So I'm going to actually minimize this. I am moving my mouse around. This is just something that you're like, your brain just kind of. It's not for somebody who needs to do work on your computer, like at the time, maybe turn it off if you're doing work. But this, I move my mouse to the corner, this thing bounces off the corner. It is, it is the most mesmerizing thing. If you click, if you click off of it, it'll turn off. If you click back in, it'll come back in. So it's, it's the most mesmerizing thing. It's just kind of like a fidget thing. It's, it's crazy. Um, you, this is actually a free application before I even get deeper. This is a free application. You go to the Microsoft Store and you see it's by Rock Danster. Danister. Um, it's got really solid reviews. It's got its own Reddit page. If I go to my Brave browser here and I drag this out, it's got its own Reddit page where people actually um, where people actually like add things into it. Um, the community is pretty large. Of it's crazy, 47,000, almost 48,000 members on this Reddit community. They're all people who just are artists or just people who are interested in it that make things for this lively wallpaper, which is amazing. Um, it's it's very interesting. It says that it is reactive to music. You can see in the background that that is quite interesting. Like that, there's a lot going on on the screen, but it is quite mesmerizing to just stare at. I can imagine if you have like the OLED monitors or OLED screens, TV screen as a monitor, or you just have a second display that's an OLED, it's very bright, and then you just put something like this on in the background while you're playing music with your studio monitors. This is just something, and then try to like get rid of the taskbar altogether. So let's say you get rid of the taskbar so that you can't see anything. I can imagine just how that, this, this whole thing, and it still interacts at everything. It is, it is amazing, I have to say. Now let me just show you guys another wallpaper here. This is called Circle Audio Visualizer. If I click on that, it basically gives you an audio visualizer like you see sometimes on different websites. And of course it is reactable to music and sound that comes on your computer. So right now you just see the background and before I even show you the visualizer part, if you right click it and then if you hit customize wallpaper, it allows you to tweak uh, elements of the wallpaper, um, various items. This is all based off of what I'm about to show you in a second, the wobble of the visualizer and everything. So I'm actually going to minimize and I'm just going to hit play. And what you can see is that this is reacting to the music that is playing. And while it is reacting, now I will show you all uh, 
the visualizer just like that and you'll see that if I want to change the color lightness I can make it darker lighter uh, the shake speed I can slow down the shake speed very slow or I can make it ridiculously like wild and hurting your eyes I think I want it very slow the shake radius I can lower the shake radius so it doesn't shake too crazily uh, which is still kind of shaking crazily um, if I want to do the star opacity which is these little white things in the middle right there I can actually lower their opacity star glow you can make them glow more or less there's just a lot of customization that can happen here it's it's very very just this is a mesmerizing application now I'm going to show you just two more little samples of this application um, so that you guys can just see how things are now this first one here let's do um, let's do triangles and light so if I click triangles and light give it a second to load up shouldn't take too long and I think it is about ready Yep, it is ready this is triangles and light now this basically allows that if my mouse cursor moves around it highlights wherever my mouse cursor is the brightness which is just another mesmerizing thing if you have a kid around probably turn it off because they won't stop moving the mouse around just to see how things look and then the final one that I just wanted to show you guys is uh, let's try let's let's just do eternal light it's just the beautiful sunset render now the other thing that I like about this too now this doesn't react with anything this is just normal and you can import your own uh, things right here if you just hit add wallpaper you can import your own and it says simply drag and drop files into the library which is this tab and all you do is just drag and drop the zip files you find around the internet that is honestly the reddit page into here and it automatically shows up and that's what circle audio visualizer was and that's it or you can type in a YouTube URL so I can essentially set my own YouTube video as a wallpaper so let's say I want to do um, let's say let me make sure my volumes are the lowest okay so let's say I want to do my own video right and I can replace it with that and I can hit next and it sends it, it says it's processing just like that and it should essentially allow you to use your own video after it finishes processing on the application and there it is it says is this good I'll just do a uh, OG Xbox as that thing and the author is next windows and then it says the URL is there and if I save the lively zip export lively zip that allows me to share it on the internet so other people can download and drag it into their lively wallpaper and use it if I hit OK there you go just like that my own video is my background wallpaper now this kind of hurts my eyes just because it's a video um, but if it was one of those animal planet type things it's it would be quite mesmerizing now what I'm going to do is go back to eternal light that's much more calm to close out the video this application is is amazing to me like it is it is one of those reasons why I make these videos because I just stumble on random applications that passionate developers make and they just so happen to explode in community like a lot of the people you know who I talk to they end up saying like how come I don't cover Mac OS and things like that and it's just because there are some things like that on Mac OS but like some of the crazy wild mad scientist ideas come from the Android and the you know the Windows developers and this is one of them this is an amazing application here's the settings page right here you can see performance um, application full screen it'll pause um, so let's see what to do when full screen games apps are running it'll pause the background uh, application focus see what to do so basically allows you to just tweak the rules of the of the whole com like the whole application it allows you to set all kinds of things on here the video quality I can up it to 1080p plus so if you only want this thing to stream uh, like 1080p plus or 4k or whatever you want you can do that you know so you limit your bandwidth and also limit your CPU strength because it looks like it uses up quite a bit of CPU and I have an 1800x CPU Ryzen um, system tray and so on but yeah that is it that is just a quick video hopefully it's quick don't know how long I've been recording but that is a quick video looking at lively wallpaper definitely 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 take a look at this I highly recommend it even if you only use it once just take a look at it play with it for a second especially if for those of you who watch this channel take a look at it it's it's mind-blowing to me I might actually keep this on um, just because I like it and I'll continue editing the video that was supposed to go up instead 
but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about this if you are to use it let me know what you think about it if you're the developer of it oh we gotta talk because this i want to i want to interview you but uh yeah take care everybody and enjoy your week